In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to auto delete backup files in Fimora, and this is going to help you save a lot of storage space. Now, as you can see here, I have Fimora open. To get started, I'm going to go over to File on the top menu, click on that, and I'm going to go over to Preferences, and I'm going to switch over to Media Cache here. So click on that. Now, on the top here, you're going to see uh, the first option, which is called Backup Files. This is going to be uh, switched off the auto delete. Now, one of the first things you first things you want to do here as you are getting started with this, if you've never used this before, you've never seen it before, you want to go ahead and hit browse. Now, this is going to open this is going to open up um, a folder here on your computer where all your backup files are saved. Now, this is going to be, you know, projects from a long time ago. This is going to be as you can see here, if I, you know, if I sort this by oldest file, you see that I have files from 2020 files all the way going up to 2024. Now, some of these files, I don't need them, right? I'm already done with these projects. Uh, these are things that I do not need, but it takes a lot of space in your computer. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete all the old files, right? So if you know that you have a backup file that you're using, you don't want to delete that one. You want to delete all the old files, right? So if I'm looking at my files here, these are all my 2024 files and these are files that I, I will use today. Today's the 31st and these are backup files from today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these here. I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to do control A, which is the keyboard shortcut to select everything. And I'm going to right click and go ahead and hit delete. Okay. Now this is going to delete all the backup files here. Obviously this is going to create new ones as you, uh, you know, work on different projects in Fimora. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now, one of the options that I like to set here is going to be, let me go ahead and hit, um, apply here. I'm going to go back to file. I'm going to open uh, preferences, go to media cache. You can see that now the total file size here or the number of files is zero because I deleted all of them and it's telling you the space. They're not taking up any space here. Now, what I like to do is to turn on this auto delete backup files. Um, that which are earlier than the time that you set here. So if you switch this on and you can see that you have the duration here so you can you can delete uh, backup files which are earlier than 30 days, 15 days. I like to do 30 days so that it gives you a month to have those backup files, you know, just in case you want to go back into a project. Right now, once you have that set, go ahead and hit apply and this is going to delete uh, your backup files uh, earlier than a month. OK. Now that is pretty much it for this video. This is how you can auto delete your backup files. And as you saw, some of those files will go back to uh, 2020 to, to the beginning of time, right? Depending on how, uh, how when you started using Fimora. So you want to go ahead and get rid of those because they're just using up a lot of space. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.